Hi guys, Marilla Steele here from Fashion Steel NYC and welcome back to my channel. Do not forget to like and subscribe because I'm still trying to get those numbers up. Today is Friday, January 10th. I have been up for the past, I don't know, two hours recording a video for a collaboration. Last night I did a twist out. You guys, I have not <laughs> done a twist out in at least a year. It actually came out really nice. I love how it looks. I feel cute. I washed my hair last night with the Avita Sap Moss shampoo and conditioner. You guys know I love that shampoo and conditioner. And then I did a deep condition with Eden Body Works split ends repair mask because my ends were going through it. I actually cut them last night, but yeah, I did this first. And I left it in for about 40 minutes, which they recommended with a bag over top. And then I washed that out, let my hair dry just a little just get a little damp. And then I put some of this Miss Jessie's leave-in condition with soybean and aloe. The best darn leave-in conditioner, period. Y'all, I love this stuff. This is my new favorite thing. I got it in a gift box from Coco Teak. If you haven't heard of Coco Teak, they are a beauty subscription box for women of color. Each month they send beauty, hair care, body care products. And they always put me on to new things and I'm so glad because this is my new favorite leave-in conditioner. I don't think I can use anything else ever. I drenched my hair in that. I let it dry until it was almost dry. And then I just two strand twisted it very small all over. And then I took it out this morning. And this is what it looks like. After I took it out, I put a little bit of the Moroccan oil in it. And that's it. I actually don't have much planned today. I'm about to post some sponsored stories. I'm working with Paramount for the Like a Boss movie premiere with Tiffany Haddish and Salma Hayek. That is coming out today. So I'm just letting you guys know that it's coming out. I was able to go to the screening a few weeks ago. I think you saw that in a previous vlog with Rose. I see a lot of Black Girl Magic on Instagram promoting it, including my girl Kayla Walker. They had like a huge event. So really, really cool. The movie is actually amazing. So go see it with your girlfriends. And then head on over to my Instagram and show that post some love. I would appreciate it guys. This is like a self care for me when I go and like buy my coffee. I wanna buy some candles. I think I might head to Barreto and buy a couple of candles because I'm out. Like the two that I bought a few months ago are already done. I need to chill. I need to chill for real, I do. Because I burn them like they don't cost eight, nine dollars each. I think I wanna drop by CB2 or, and kinda just see what they have to offer because I'm about to redecorate my living room and then I'm probably gonna eat at some point, buy some magazines. I don't know yet, we'll see. I'm gonna take you guys with me on my self-care Friday. I am wearing, I forgot this lip color, but I'll put it down in this, the description box. Wearing my favorite Brinker and Eliza coin necklace. I love this necklace. Wearing this Revolve sweater. I think it's by Academy. And of course my fave and other stories jeans. These jeans are sold out. But just a super basic look because it's cold outside today. I'm gonna layer into the sun. <laughs> so that's my look for today guys. I'm starving. So I just did my stories for today i'm gonna post them really quickly right now it's 10 30 then i'm gonna head to a neighborhood restaurant to grab some breakfast i have discovered oat milk and i am addicted you guys oat milk is delicious okay i am lactose intolerant i can't drink milk if i drink milk it really messes up my stomach and also like Cystic acne just magically appears seconds after I drink any form of milk, including like cream. And so my creamer is actually non-dairy. So I just discovered oat milk and they have the best hot chocolate made with oat milk. Oh, so good. I'm like addicted to it, which is good because I'm sort of kind of just weaning myself off of having coffee every single day. Now I'm like having coffee like every other day. <laughs> and the reason I did that is because I noticed when I went home, well, this happens all the time, but I get really bad withdrawal headaches if I skip one cup of coffee. And I hate my body being dependent on anything. I like tea, but I like, for some reason, I like drinking tea at night. And I feel like there's definitely not enough caffeine in tea to like do anything for me. But what I learned is that coffee constricts the blood vessels in your brain. So your brain isn't getting as much blood flow and oxygen when you're drinking a lot of caffeine 
and when you take that caffeine away the blood vessels go back to their normal size and your brain gets this overflow of blood and that's what causes the throbbing migraines when you're withdrawing from coffee and i'm just like oh my god i don't want to do that to my brain i mean humans don't even use but about 10 percent and the dumb ones only use five percent anyway so <laughs> That's why I'm trying to wean myself a little bit off of coffee, but I read that like one cup a day is fine But anyway, I'm weaning off and I'm kind of replacing one cup of coffee a day with one cup of hot chocolate made with oat milk And they use natural chocolate too And then I think I'm gonna get a BLT because they're delicious I'm gonna have my breakfast and then get ready and head out even though it's so cold Anywho guys, I wanted to give you all an Amelia update. I know you've seen her on the gram and in my stories a new leaf just opened two days ago like right when i got back from miami oh look how beautiful this thing is huge she is stunning like her leaves are just amazing and then another one is about to grow out here and i think what i'm gonna do is separate these two like i had to to tie them together with like this little straw tie because this one is leaning like so much it's so heavy so i'm going to definitely have to replant this and i think i'm going to separate the two and have this one separate from that one and find two different spots to put them in my space Amelia! you're so beautiful girl and you know it mm. all right let's head to the brunt spot So I am back from getting my lunch. I got a hot chocolate with oat milk and a BLT. I didn't want to show the place because it's a little too close to where I live. But you guys, I had to change my pants. So I changed into these Sofia Vergara jeans that just hit Walmart. So she has a line that they carry at Walmart. I think they have like five different styles. They run from zero up to a 24. So they are size inclusive. I did a little collab with them over the holiday break. Those were like snake print, but they have a ton of different styles. This is just one style, but they're super comfortable. And for me, they are true to size. This is a size six. I had to change because I bled right through my jeans. It's that time of the month. I know it's very taboo. People don't talk about it but I have a very heavy flow in like a matter of minutes while I was sitting there at the restaurant. It's all good, I had on a coat, but let me show you my food. Ah! I'll insert a picture of my hot chocolate here because I did take a picture of one. Oh, and when I went to the mailbox, this was in there. So this is just a sign for me to go to Crate and Barrel today. I have a little 15% gift card that I think I'm gonna use today as well. I had a little inspiration for redecorating my house and my lunch. A delicious BLT with sweet potato french fries and a pickle. Mm. I'm gonna toss this back, watch a little Dish Nation, and then get ready to leave out. supposed to be heading downtown but I'm letting my phone charge because it's only on 20% but I'm watching this series on Netflix called cheer and oh my god this is bringing back so many memories I don't know if you guys watch the 34 facts about me video but I cheered in middle school and in high school and I also competed in high school and like this is so intense it's bringing back memories so yeah if any of you are interested in cheerleading and what cheerleaders do Check out that Netflix series, Cheer. It's pretty interesting. So I just got a package in from And Other Stories. You guys know I have been working with them. I'm one of their ambassadors. They send me something every month, but I think I'm gonna open it in an unboxing video. So stay tuned for that. I'm wearing my boots from Ann Taylor. I love these boots. I have them also in this gray color. 
they were like those Chanel knockoffs, but they're super comfy. Love these. My Walmart jeans by Sofia Vergara, and then my Revolve sweater. Going to toss on my And Other Stories coat and head downtown. down to Soho gonna head to the bank first then I might go to Oaken Fort do some shopping find some juice see what I can get into just left Wells Fargo deposited my check and right across the street is CB2 so I'm gonna go in there and see what they have I have my little coupon too that I got in the mail CB2 didn't get anything but got some good inspiration and I'm looking forward to decorating my home. I've been wanting it's gonna go well on my new couch because my new couch is going to be gray ah, I feel happy now I need some food Going to head into Byredo and get some candles. Just leaving Byredo. I got my candles. I got two of the Bohemia because that's my favorite smell. It is such a beautiful day in Soho and there's hardly anyone out here. The streets are empty. Anywho, I think I'm gonna head into the real real, see what they have in there.
left the real real and I saw the bag of my dreams it was that Celine pillow bag the white one in the extra large size and now I'm probably gonna go home and buy it from the website so I can use my reward style link I love that bag it was beautiful did you see it it was gorgeous I tried to show you guys a little bit of what the inside of the store looks like as well all right gotta find some juice Alright guys, made it to Juiced Press Juicery. Going to get some juices. I got my juices but unfortunately everything I bought is heavy I got a bunch of juices a bunch of candles and a throw and so I'm gonna head home because I can't carry anything at home <laughs> it's all too heavy I'm excited about my juices though because when I was in Miami I drank a lot of juices every day from the Sagrado shop and now I'm on a juice kick Heading home. I would have taken the train, but I bought too much heavy stuff. I always do that. Anywho, I'll show you everything that I bought once I get back home. Whew. <sighs> All right, guys, so I am back home. I did a little window shopping today. I went to the bank, deposited a check. And then I went to CB2 just to get some inspiration and to see what they have. I think I'm going to end up buying a mirror from CB2 and a rug. They also have like some special going on right now. I think until February 4th. I think everything is 15% off. At least I have a little coupon for it. I just love going in there. Like it gives me such a boost of creativity when it comes to how I'm going to design my space. After that, I went to this little boutique. I forgot the name of it. And then I went into one of my favorite stores, Oak and Fort. You guys know that I get a lot of stuff from Oak and Fort. So I went in there, looked around. I ended up buying a throw, like a white, very thick knitted throw that I've been wanting and it was on sale. After I left there, I went to Barreto to buy some candles that I love. They're really pricey, but I just, I, I love the smell. I have to have one of those burning, especially when I'm like writing out my blog posts. Oh, I went to the Real Real. They actually have a cafe in there as well, downstairs in the men's department. It's pretty cool. I went downstairs to the cafe to see if they had any juice, but they didn't. But I did see something that 
I'm crazy over. They have that Celine puffy pillow bag in white. I used to have it in gray. I ended up reselling it. Like, I don't know why I just didn't keep that bag, but I love the white one and it's a larger size and I may have to get it y'all. Like I was not expecting to spend to like have another luxury purchase anytime soon since I'm working on my redecoration and I think I'm gonna allow myself about $6,000 for that. But like I have to have that bag, like it's so cute. Anywho, I really can't remember all the places I went inside but I took video of everything. So you guys can kind of see what shopping in Soho, downtown New York City, Manhattan is like, all the different stores that are there. So if you're planning a visit, that is a great place to go. I did go to to the juice shop as well and I got some juices and let me just go ahead and show you guys what I bought first up I got some juices from pressed juicery I love pressed juicery they are so good I actually drank the little power shot while I was in the via but this is the one I drank and it tastes delicious it's a probiotic shot but I also got root 3 which is apple, lemon, ginger, and beet. This is one of my favorite juices. And then I got, let's see, citrus two, which is apple, pineapple, lemon, and mint. An orange, apple, aloe vera, turmeric, lemon, and black pepper juice. It was like four for $20 because I'm a member. And then I got a citrus one, which is cucumber, pineapple, coconut water, lemon, and aloe vera juice. I love these juices. I feel like they get me through the day if i don't have like a very hearty breakfast i'll just drink one of those and i also bought myself dinner for tonight since i was already out you guys know i love digging they have them all over the city but i basically got the chicken with white rice kale and like a, a fruit salad with it looks like oranges and passion fruit this is what i got from what is holding me down? Oak and fort. I bought this throw for my couch. I'm just really into the thick knit. The last time Rose and I went into the store and I bought a few things, I saw this, but I didn't want to buy it then because I didn't want to carry it around. And I'm glad that I kind of waited because it was on sale for $100. So it's a hand knit chunky throw. It's cream, the size is 50 by 70 inches. So it's a fairly large throw. My new couch is going to be a charcoal gray. So I think this will go wonderful with it. I've already kind of started buying like little things for my decor update. This being one of them, I'm not even gonna pull this out until I get my new couch. This is my self care. Absolutely love these candles. You guys know I love Arade Fireado. Um, I use their Ball d'Afrique perfume. Oh, it's one of my favorites. So they gave me this little box of matches, which is cool. I love these kind of matches. They're super long too. Yum. I bought two candles. Both are the same scent, which is my favorite one. It's the Bohemia. It's kind of like a very sweet, yet masculine scent. Literally, it makes my house smell very rich. <laughs> and that's why I keep buying them, even though they're so expensive. Like, Marshalls has some really amazing candles, and sometimes I'll just go in there and smell every single candle and end up spending like, I don't know, maybe like $50 buying a handful of different kinds of candles. They last, and they do smell good, but I don't know what it is about this candle that makes me want to spend I don't know how much how much did this candle cost I want to say like eighty dollars eighty five maybe but like when I want self-care I go and buy these candles Barreto has really nice packaging by the way but I'm about to tear this because I don't have the time so they all come in these cool little boxes that I I keep these boxes because they smell good and I put like my business cards and little little things in them so oh, there's my candle, Bohemia. Oh, so I'm gonna put these in their place. I'm gonna light one and I'm gonna finish drinking 
this juice and I'm just gonna sit here and relax. I was thinking about doing a mask, but right now I'm doing retinol treatments at night. So I don't wanna put on anything on my face that's gonna like interact with that. So let's just light this candle and end this day. I hope you enjoyed this day running some errands with me going a little shopping with me do not forget to like and subscribe and yeah I'm gonna put everything I can find like down in the description boxes the places that I went the things that I bought and what I'm wearing all right guys bye